What's good, sneakerheads? Back here with another one today. And uh, first, I got to give a shout out to Finish Line for the hookup. Uh, I've been looking for these for a minute. Um, this video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point because I've got a few other videos covering the same shoe. I just had to cop this one. I saw it uh, on vacation, and it's way too bad that I could not get this video up because, I mean, I've been having issues with my. Uh, uh, or at least I thought I was having issues with my Sony Vegas, which is what I use to edit. And uh, come to find out, I think the footage is just like, I, I don't know. There's something in them that just doesn't want me to put the video out. Every time I go to edit it, it just shuts it down. I'll add the last four clips to it. It'll just shut it down every single time. I even tried to edit another video and throw a few clips from it in that. It shut it down. So there's something wrong with those clips. But, um... Yeah, I first saw these shoes when I was on vacation a week in advance before they were supposed to drop. I didn't pick them up then because I was like, yo, I haven't seen this colorway. I figured it, you know, was one of the first that came out, so I figured it was kind of old, you know. Um, I liked it, but I was like, you know, I'll, I'll pass on it. But I found out that it was uh, actually due to come out uh, yesterday, actually, November 1st. Um, so I looked everywhere for it. Come to find out they're on back order, like everywhere. There was one place... 50 miles away that had them so instead of ordering them online i just drove there today and picked them up shout out finish line you always do me right um so yeah let's just jump right into it and you can already tell by the gold box kdx size 12 like always and they are Bum, 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 bum. The KDX Triple Blacks, also known as the uh, Midnights or the Pitch Blacks or the uh, Ebony's or, you know, for all you scientific folk out there, the Vanta Blacks. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I saw this colorway a few weeks ago, um, at the same place actually it was a finish line uh, outlet store had these a week before they came out they also had the Oreo Vapor Maxes uh, a week before they came out um, I was really surprised but you know when I saw these had to try them on I'll throw the clip of me trying them on in that finish line if it'll render uh, I'll throw the clip into this video too right here so you can see it um, they don't look too bad. I actually like the way they look on feet. Uh, a lot of people think that they're probably going to be plain, but when you get a triple black, you can't go wrong with it. You know, I mean, they're one of the few shoes that won't show dirt very well. Plus, they just look good. I love neutral colors. You can't go wrong with these. The numbers were all white. Check that video out. Um, the Oreos, you know, they had that kind of basic thumbprint yeah, that's what it was called the thumbprint or fingerprint or something uh, they just had that basic kind of look to it these true midnight gotta love it and with uh, Halloween being a few days ago it's good to have a nice dark neutral color you know I love the way they did this colorway it's all black but it's got the touches of the gray in there technically the color is black dark gray black um, you can especially on the bottom it's got that clear black like black translucent bottom to it with that full zoom air it just looks so good like that so and i love the way the bottoms of these look you know it's got that split in it it's got the full visible air unit all the way around you just can't go wrong with it i actually i mean i love these shoes and if you guys haven't tried them, take my word for it. These are great basketball shoes. The lockdown on them is tremendous. Like, once you put them on, your foot is not going anywhere unless it's got the shoe attached to it. Like, it is, there's no slip in it. There's no anything. It's actually, um, what I like about these is, you know, it's got its basic black and everything. But the swoosh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but the swoosh is actually, like, sparkly. It's the same on the inside too it's sparkly you just can't go wrong with that that's about the only like vivid detail to it and I'm glad they threw it in there to you know make it pop a little bit um, 
it's got the typical KD logo on the tongue right there. I don't think it'll pick it up or not, but typical KD logo. And um, on the inside, I'll have to throw a photo up because it's already been proven that the light just don't go in there. I've got two big lights, but it just does not show in there. It's got the um, signature, KD signature right there on the insole. I'm pretty sure they do that on most of them though. Um, yeah, these, I'm gonna have some on feats, like some true on feats at the end of this video, so make sure to watch through for that. Um, I just, ha I, 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 honestly, like my KDs are only for basketball. Like I, you can wear them out, but they're not as comfortable as like say Boost or anything like that. Um, but if you need a good pair of basketball shoes, I mean, they're only like 150 bucks. You could go, get some you know I think the only one is the MVP right here looks amazing um, I still haven't got that really want it um, that's the only one that you're gonna be paying resale for and that's you know pretty up there actually that's a lie check out the Dornbecker there was only three of these shoes that were made and it was by the girl that made the uh, Air Magnum Dornbeckers for this year uh, there were three pairs one went to her one went to Durant. The other one just got auctioned off for $35,000. The colorway on this, I mean, honestly, I would buy it. Um, it'd be good to have. It's kind of like that crazy Jordan 13 that came out like two years ago or something. Wouldn't wear it, but it'd be cool to have because it looks just crazy. I mean, it's cool. You know, the idea behind it is amazing. Um, the All the proceeds go to the hospital and you let kids design the shoes. And most of them are honestly like terminal patients. So um, it's good to let them, you know, it's good to own something that they developed, you know, the, you know, the creativity and stuff like that. Like the creativeness that goes into it is just great. And the idea behind it's amazing. So um, those are coming out pretty soon. I think November 18th or something like that. Uh, those always sell out every time. Um, I'm going to try to cop a pair of those, uh, either the 12s or maybe the um, up-tempos. Uh, those look kind of cool. This year, they're a little bit more, mm, they're a little different than they have been years past. And, eh, I mean, could have done a little bit better. Like last year, uh, the kid did the uh, the whole rock star feel on that one Jordan. I can't remember the number on it, but that was a cool one. Um, I wanted to pick that up, but I kind of passed on it for others. Um, but yeah, they kind of went off topic, but it's a KDX, and I really wish that they would have went that instead of that Air Max that they did. I don't know why they didn't, but I wish they would have done that. I would have definitely went for those. Um, KDXs, typically, like I was saying, you know, they're really only for basketball, and they're really not that bad. 150 bucks, why not? You know, uh, you could you you could wear them out on the street, but there's a lot of other shoes that are lighter and more comfortable for daily, every day, all day wear, uh, and I would recommend that. But if you want a good pair of ball shoes where you can break some ankles, pick these up definitely. Um, so yeah, I mean, I told you it's gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. I got some more kicks on the way. Hopefully I can get everything straightened out with this grail that I've got coming. And uh, you'll know because you'll see an Instagram post or video pop up on it. Um, things are starting to get a little rocky on that front. Let's hope it works out. But um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, what do y'all think about this colorway? Uh, did y'all cop it? Are you going to cop it? It's probably not one that he's going to wear on court. But I mean, come on, it's triple black. Why not? You know, just looks great. Um, let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, follow me on my social media. Links are in the description. Um, that way you'll stay up to date on everything that I got before the video is dropped. Um, and news. I always post news and, you know, a bunch of other random stuff. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, peace.